Yeah! We back at it, laid back like a craftmatic. It's your truly slang, Hugh. It's the Lab Chronicles, and I'm not alone here. I got my co host, my co brethren. DJ Finn live in the building. What up? We here, and we got a special guest in the building today. We we gotta we we spinning it on you. Usually we got hip hop here. We had reggae dancehall producers here one time. Now we have a man who specializes in Afrobeat house. You say dance too? You say dance? Yeah, you can say that. You can say that. Dance. Yeah. A man who's been on the scene for quite a while, probably as long as no, probably longer than me. But anyway, <laughs> we're not gonna date everything yeah. just yet. DJ Corey Dawkins in the building. What are you saying, family? Just here, man. Thanks for having me, man. Oh, you know? Thank you for being yeah. here. Thank you for being here. So, yeah, you're the first. Wow. Of your kind. Wow. On Lab Chronicles. Specialness. What number is this? Like 17? I have no idea. Yeah, no. we are totally lost. <laughs> <laughs> we have shows in the chamber and all kind of things. <laughs> the number doesn't matter. But we have, we're here. We're just going to talk music, you know, how we do. Yeah. Talk a bit about your experiences, what you've done in the music industry, so forth and so on. And, you know, as they say, shoot the shit type thing. Mm-hmm. Um, off top, first question I like to ask, what were you listening to on the way over here? Me, I was listening to uh, Burna Boy, actually. Ah! That's, uh, that's, a, that's a fire album right there. The album? Man. What's that yeah. album called? It's, uh, what's the name of the album again? <laughs> Oh, his man. latest like album? It's his latest yeah, yeah, album. Just, it's like um, it's awesome. something Africa, something 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 with Africa anyway. Mm. Yeah. And it's dope. It's dope. Everything I don't think is I ever hot. listened to it. Well, I don't I know. I've never listened to a Afrobeats album. No, I don't think Is that. it is that what it is though, or is it like he mixing it up? Yeah, it's 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 Afrobeats. I mean he's some of the most of the songs will be like You'll hear some English in it, and yeah, you'll hear yeah. some Nigerian. He has, some, in it. he has like a dancehall flow sometimes yeah. too. Yeah. Okay, he can, he can, okay. you know, he can also do the dancehall stuff yeah, very yeah, well. Yeah. He's very, he, he has some versatile. Tunes. Yeah, he's very versatile. Okay. But his yeah. album is like it's mixed. So you're not gonna get everything, but pieces musically, you'll say, okay, I get it. Okay, yeah. Yeah. He's, he's doing a little English here, but then he's mm. doing you know the Nigerian, mm. and it's then he's kind of bouncing back. Then a little pat what goes in it. You uh. know what I mean? But, no, it's, but the mix blends nicely. Like, it's not something yeah, like, whoa, what is he trying to do? It's yeah, authentic. It's, 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 yeah. it's, it's authentic. authentic. That's it's it's really good, you know what mm, I mean? Interesting. So, I'm so that's, take that one that's, what, that's, that's what got me. Yeah. But the Afrobeats right now is hot, man. Yeah. <laughs> that's what you're feeling. Well, Afrobeats is hot. It's, it's, it's yeah. now... It's, Literally. It's, it's, it's always been hot, but like yeah. in the mainstream now, like, yeah. all these artists are... Are using the Afro beats and the R&B, and, yeah. and they've been in the hip hop. Absolutely, of course, it's always been in the house, right? Yeah, but yeah. or you know, Afro yeah. beats itself is you know a dancey. Yeah. I was realizing that today because I was listening to some house music. It's kind of to get my mind right, <laughs> and <laughs> and um, uh, there was a song I was listening to, and I was like, hey, but it's an older song, like it's like a '90s '80s song. I was like, hey, this is this is Afro beats, yeah. Mm. But I don't, how long? Let me just ask you. How long has the official Afrobeats term or genre been around? Do you know that? Um, that's a good question. That's pretty recent, I think. Is it? Yeah. I thought so too. But yeah. you never know. There might have been some like little underground scene bubbling for years. Because you got Fella, right? And Fella is Fella. Yeah, he's the mm. original. The original. And then there's some other things that came out of that. Like yeah. Yes. So Afrobeats is almost yeah. like a. Yeah. A more pop version yeah. of what he was doing. Mm. Mm. Fellow yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And okay. there's different types of it, like okay. you know, from all sense. different countries and it's all yeah. oh man, it's 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 a lot though. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like if it's you It's probably wanna, hard to keep up right now. It's hard to keep up with. And you, the things that you'll oh, probably music in general. But. Yeah. What you'd probably Grow, grow to more is more the you know the more popular stuff. You know right. what I mean, like uh, the the Mister Easy's and the Burna yeah. Boys mm-hmm. and the mm-hmm. Wiz Kids and mm-hmm. all that kind of stuff. Davido, yeah, yeah. The, you know that stuff. You'll you, you'll you'll draw more to those. And right. then if you dig deep and you remember the names of some of these other artists, <laughs> then, <laughs> you'll find gems. Yeah, you'll here find them. But yeah, it's yeah. Yeah, I gotta, mm-hmm. I gotta, I do got I do like Afro beats, but uh, yeah. I guess I'm lazy. I just listen to it. The top, all the names well, you guys just named, pretty that, much. That's the stuff that gets the girl. That's again, I right don't now. know none of the names of the title of the songs. <laughs> I just hear it and know, oh, that's... Uh, yeah, 
Yeah, okay, that's yeah, I know that guy. It's like, yeah, that's me. That's why right you got to go to one of them them Afrobeats parties. And yeah, you see what I'm talking about. I've been pure bams is shaking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that's okay. And my next you, question was, uh, what got you into it? But I, <laughs> you have to tell me. Uh, well, uh, it's right the dancing man. It's, yeah. Pfft. It's a vibe. Though. Top notch. Afrobeats it's, has it's a vibe. vibe. It has yeah, vibe. It's, it's it's like vibes. like dance hall. You know, dance. Yeah. You go to dance. Yeah. Like, yeah. You know what I mean? Okay. So we've had this question a couple times on this podcast. What, for you, is the difference between, besides language, yeah. dance hall and Afrobeats? Um, I mean, dance hall has the rhythms. The rhythms have been there for forever. Mm-hmm. I just find the, um, the Afrobeats, um, I don't know, there's a little bit more drumming in it. Yeah. Way, mm. little, way more drumming in it. Yeah, you know what I, mean? I can see that. You know what I mean? That's, yeah. I, I can, you know, yeah. a little more, a lot little more, more percussion, more percussion yeah. and stuff going that's in there and so forth. That's you know? true. Yeah, um, yeah. That's all I can say because yeah. Afrobeats is almost to me like the middle ground between like current yeah. soca and dancehall. Yeah, it's like a middle ground. Even uh, an I wouldn't say an offshoot because that would be a little disrespectful, but. It has the vibe of soca, mm-hmm. but the, the 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 sound of dancehall almost. Yeah, and then of course the Afro part of the beat. Yeah, yeah. 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 And a lot of the Afro artists they, they love dancehall. Yeah. So you hear the, you hear their music that you're hearing the pat wind there, and you're hearing you're you know, using the lingo, yeah, you're the lingo the melodies even. the melodies yeah. too. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's so it's a mix of it. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, I like it. I like it. But okay, so. Start back in the calendar. What? How did you get? How did you fall in love with music? Me, I mean, it's from my parents. You know what I mean. Yeah. My dad was a was a big music guy. He never really made it anywhere with music, but mm. he, you know, record collector. Seen. And he's always singing and writing music and stuff like that. Seen. And um, what kind of music did he do? Uh, he was kind of more into. He he was a gospel, gospel a little bit of reggae. Yeah. Um, and uh, of course, we grew up Christian background, right? Yeah. So, church was a big part of our upbringing. So, yeah. my dad was like, you know, would lead the song service, you know, Same. you know, and he'd be up there with a rag, <laughs> leading the song service. <laughs> you know what I mean? And in those days, yeah. maroon suit, you know, <laughs> the maroon you know what I mean? suit, you know, and just conducting yeah. the yeah. everybody. And, yeah. And then he, you know, he was in, you know, of course, um, you know, some 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 singing groups like, you know, singing. little, you know, quartets and stuff like that, oh. come up there and singing. Yeah, 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 yeah. My yeah. mom wasn't really too much into the music. She's into music, but not like that. I get I get that from my father. So, right, right. so I, it's just we, that's where we get it from. You know what I mean? Same. And then my younger brother's into music too as well. And yeah. So were you allowed to listen to air quote secular music growing up? Um. It was it was frowned upon. Yeah, but um, <laughs> no those ways. Uh, but <laughs> but uh, I'm familiar with it was frowned words. upon. But we just we did our thing anyway. You yeah, know what I mean? yeah, we yeah, just yeah. had to like walk with our Walkmans. Thank and, you God know. for Walkmans. <laughs> yeah, yep, walk with our Walkmans and just keep it and headphones. Headphones. Yep, and that's where we listen to. Yeah, yeah, before yeah. I must say, what kind of ungodly thing you listening to now? <laughs> it was no church, go pray, man. So ungodly. You know what I mean? So, <laughs> but yeah, man, that's, that's that's the vibe still. You know, just thank God for the Walkman. Indeed, that's all I gotta say. So early on, what were you what were you listening to? Like, what kind of music were you into early on? Yeah, early on, like coming up, like that was hip hop, man. So yeah. it was like you know Run DMC, Eric yeah. B. Rakim, yeah. you know uh, stuff like that, man. Just all the, all that all that good stuff, nice and smooth. Scene. And then, um, you know, high school was, I graduated in 94, 95, See? so that was big time, you know, Wu-Tang, mm. you know, Pete Rock, Seal Smooth, Nas, mm. AZ, <sighs> yep. that was, that was, that was the that, era, that, that was, was the great, era. that was great, yeah. great, great, great Speaking times. of Wu-Tang, I was just watching mm. Segway side, yeah. uh, Segway side, no, I was watching the, um, Saga, the, yeah, the Saga, the, the, like, first three episodes, hold on. Two and a half. Mm-hmm. It's not bad. So far, it's not bad. It's not bad. How, where'd you watch it? You have Hulu? No, I watched it on uh, Bootleg. <laughs> 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 the dark web. <laughs> that's right, that's right, that's but right. it's not bad so far. I'm kind of surprised at a couple of things, but I'm assuming it's not... Um, 
it's like a based on. Yeah, so it's yeah. not autobiographical. Autobiographical. It's more yeah, like, yeah. It's like a story out of the story. Shit, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That eight mile. Exactly. That's a good comparison. Yeah. Uh-huh. Get rich or die trying. Super sensual, sensual, super sensual, sensationalized. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. Um, so I'm gonna assume the DJing came first, or did you? Were you play? Did you play instruments? Like, did you? What was the progression? Yeah, I mean. I play a little bit of stuff in like high school, like band, but I didn't, yeah. I didn't, I didn't go too yeah. far with that. That was first French horn. But I uh, started, I, <laughs> and I couldn't tell you what. what oh that gosh, French horn! That was that's an instrument, man. <laughs> I wanted drums, but that mouthpiece. Yeah, plays. I couldn't get it. Couldn't get yeah. the drums. Um, I used to make like tapes. I used to make tapes for people, man. Scene. I used to like do my, you know, the double deck recorders at yeah, home. Yeah, yeah, the pause tapes. Yeah, yeah. Pause and do whatever. I used to yeah. make tapes for people, man. Scene. And they used to like hip hop. Yeah. R&B, reggae, just to, yeah. and used to charge them like five, ten bucks. Yeah. And, you know, people used to like the way I selected and the way I programmed Scene. Uh, these tapes. So this is not you DJing, this is you literally just picking music and putting it on a tape and duplicating it for people. Yes, but... Okay. Programming is a big programming is a big part of DJing, though. Scene. Very, to be, a, you have to be a good programmer because yeah. you could be a, D, a good technical DJ or whatever yeah. you want to call it, but you yeah. can't play music you, you can't select. Yeah, yeah. you're, 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 you're playing the wrong music. Yeah. I, that's what yeah. I've always said. That's yeah. the that is the gift of DJ. It's yeah. the big selection. It, yes, that's See. that's the whole job no, of DJ. It is a fact. It makes the difference between a good DJ. And a bad. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. you have to fact. know how to yeah. how to how to program, man. Yeah. It's very very important. Yeah. So I that's a, just a gift I've had since See. since I was a kid, right? Yeah. You know what I mean? And then it just it kind of just grows and grows Progress. and grows. And then you know I moved to Toronto, and then I kind of. Came out of the bedroom and then I started mm-hmm. playing out of places like Ivy Lounge and stuff like so, that. So okay, Orlando, how did yeah. you transition to actually DJing? Uh, transition? Yeah, or no transition? <laughs> well, I mean, I, I, yeah, I was more of a bedroom DJ, right? So okay. I would have my little turntables, my right. little mixer, and stuff like that. But I was just home, you know right. what I mean? And right. then, when, and then, um, I'm from Calgary. And I, oh, I, see, I, see, I, see, I didn't Toronto, even know yeah, that. I'm okay, from Calgary, but I've been okay. in Toronto like 22 years now. Okay, so, okay, so. When I moved here, mm-hmm. I just kind of like, you know, took on to the city and the vibe and the, just the energy here. Like, right. you can get into anything here, man, like music-wise, right? So, say, I, I got to get out and start playing. Right. I'm nervous as hell <laughs> playing in front of people, <laughs> but you start doing it, right? Right. And so that's where I started, just kind of playing out. And and then you just, just kind of fine-tune your stuff, like, you know what I mean? Like, you're mixing and you're selecting and stuff like that and... I mean, there's different types of DJs. I'm not really a turntablist, like a, right, I'm not right, a scratch right. bastard Tricks or anything like that, yeah, but yeah. I'm kind of more of like a, the different types. Like I'm yeah. more of a mixer, selector kind of yeah. DJ, you know what I mean? And then just fine tune that, and mm-hmm. everybody has a sound. So you're just trying to just work on your sound. You right. know what I mean? They, that's very important too. So were you always Corey, DJ Corey Dawkins? Is that how you started yeah, out? Yeah, just my name. I said, you know, I said, my name is powerful enough. My name but, is my name. Let's just run it. <laughs> 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 and okay. I, didn't, I didn't have to have like a, you know, yeah. you know. So did you start playing out at clubs or was it like friends, parties, house yeah, parties? Yeah, like I- Ivy Lounge was like a little small little lounge in front of the Art Gallery of Ontario there on Dundas. Okay. So like I used I to play there, yeah. Son of Soul used to used to play there, uh, Rest R-R-P. in Peace, you know what I mean? Son of Soul. Um, you know, yeah, Dave Campbell used to play there, Jason oh. Palmer used to play there. Oh, yeah. The thing that was great about that was... Mm. You had all kinds of DJs that played different genres of music play there. So it was, mm. it was beautiful, man. You know what I mean? Like, you'd go there and, you know, there'd be a night and one DJ's playing some different type of genre. Yeah. So then you're just kind of, wow. And if you like music, you just kind of get into everything. Whatever's being you played. You know what I mean? True. So I'd be lounge and then, you know, started doing just the small spots. Nothing, nothing, nothing too crazy, nothing too, mm. you know? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And then I always was, like, just making mixes. Because that's what I used to, I used to make tapes. Right. So I used to let, let's just make mixes and pass them out and, you know, let people hear you and stuff like that. And right. just kind of build that way, you know what I mean? You build... Um, clientele. Just, and, yeah, just build and just right. get your stuff out, right? So, but um, I've always been like a, you know, I'll play all different genres of music. Right. Um, I started... You know, really taking it, taking into house music, like when yeah. I, uh, you know, just 99, 2000. Okay. So I started, you know, really taking on that. So what, what, what caused that to become a focus, like that genre mm-hmm. to become a focus? Because I do see even the parties that you promote and play, yeah. like, usually mixes of everything. It's a mix of everything. So you see, you like everything. Yeah. So 
what what made you kind of start focusing in on that genre in particular house yeah um house um i guess because i'm from a church background see a lot of the house music is very spiritual mm. a lot of it and then there's different kinds of Never stuff of that. yeah there's, there's a lot of it's very yeah. spiritual like even if they're not they're not you know god this god that yeah. it's very Clappy, you know, yeah, like it's. Yeah, yeah, no, you're saying. You listen to the words and the and, and, and the lyrics of these songs; they're uplifting. It may not be religious, but it's yeah. it's spiritual. Spiritual, and yeah. it helps you. Mm. So, like you know, you you're starting to play this music, you're starting to buy the records, and yeah. it's like, wow, you just get feel in. Good you you feel it. good. You fall in yeah. love with it. Right. You know what I mean? And then, not, there's something about mixing a house beat, man. Like especially rhythms and stuff like that. Yeah. <laughs> it's great, man. Yeah. You know what I mean? And then you just kind of. Feel the vibes. You feel it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah, yeah. You're drawn to it. You're drawn to it, but it's very spiritual. Okay. Mm. So I'm going to fast forward a little bit. Mm. When did you start making your own music? Me? Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm a late bloomer, right? See. So, like, you know, I, I have friends that have been making mu- making music for years. Right. You know what I mean? Um, mm. I kind of approach the production thing or making music from a DJ vibe. Like, okay. you know, I kind of like a... I listen to music and all the time, and I'm like, okay, you know what? This song could use a little something else. Right. Like, so I do a re-edit or a retouch. Yeah, I seen that. Yeah, so yeah, what, I do what is what's a re-edit? Re-edit. I seen you see yeah. that on a couple of your your songs on yeah. uh, Bandcamp. A lot of DJs do that now because okay. there might be a song you like, uh-huh. and it's just it's lacking a little bit of something. Right. And, then, and you add a little something to it. Like me, I'm 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 the I'm the Afro house dude, right. or the rhythm mm-hmm. dude. So yeah. I hear a tune. I'm gonna add some. I'm gonna add a, a nice Afro vibe to it, See. or or a nice rhythm to it, and you play it out, and it just it kills. It. Everybody's dancing, everybody enjoys it. Or you put mm. it on a mixtape, it works. Mm. Um, so you just add in, add in little little things to it, and um, it works. So when you say you you approach uh, you approach productions from a DJ mm-hmm. perspective, could you elaborate? Like, yeah, so I do you... a lot of my re-edits live. I'll, oh, see. Yeah, I'll, uh, I mean, I use GarageBand to do my own stuff, you know, and stuff right. like that. That was I my just, next question. What yeah. do you use? Yeah, I mean, I just use what I got. Yeah. I don't got the big bucks to the big none studio, of us you know what I mean? <laughs> so, but I'll just go live, man. Like, yeah. I mean, the thing about technology now, like, especially those controllers, right? Yeah. There's beat pads on those things. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? You can do all kinds of crazy stuff with that. Right. Um, and if you're a good mixer and you... You got your stu- you got your monitors going on, and right. you, you'll practice a little bit to just right. to try to like you know what do I want to do to this song, right? Right. right. You know, and then you just you loop a couple beats and you, boom, you know what I mean, and then you, you just keep something. you layer it and do whatever you got to do, and you know what I mean, mm-hmm. and um, but it wasn't something that I really planned to do, but right. it's like you know I just I'm, my ears, I'm hearing things, and I'm like okay I could do this, and so I started messing around, you know what I mean, and right. then. Um, then I would do like some little little remixes here and there, and right. then I would hop on like say, GarageBand and do something, or um, yeah, or I would just use my gear and just you know come with some. You can do so many things on your gear at home. Like you got yeah. a keyboard at home, MIDI, Damn, you, you know, everything. CDJs. You yeah. can you can loop things. You can do all mm. kinds of crazy stuff. You know what I mean? Um, it's nuts. So is your production? Would you say it's sample based mostly? Um, or? Yeah, I would say I would say for the most part is I don't yeah. do anything from scratch, from scratch, from scratch. Right. Every once in a while I'll, I'll do that, but right. it was more sample based. I'll, I'll find something and I'll just kind of make it mine, and right. you know what I mean? Because there's so much stuff out there to sample, right? Right, right, right. Yeah. Right. yeah so I mean, Definitely. yes, if you could do from scratch, do it. But yeah, 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 absolutely. It's time consuming though. <laughs> you know what I mean? So uh, have you you've gotten to produce for any artists yet, or me? I haven't done anything like. For anybody specifically, but I like um, I'll I'll collab with some people. Like I, uh, I'm a big fan of spoken word. Mm. So I have a tune on my band camp called Blessed, right? right. And it's 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 a housey, Afro-y, yeah. deep deep tune. Yeah. And Hadjil, aka Black Lotus, you may know him. I don't, I'm not too sure. He's a spoken word artist. I know that name. Yeah, I definitely. Know he used that to name. do like um, acoustic Tuesday nights at Train Studio. And, oh, okay. Okay. But he's a spoken word artist. He does right. stuff with like Dwayne Morgan and stuff like right, that. Right, 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 mm-hmm. right, right. So he'd give me acapellas and he said, Corey, man, si. um, you know, you get a chance, you know, put something together and throw my throw my acapella. What, pick something and do something. So, right. I, so I do stuff with him and um, collect spoken word. And then. So do you 
And with that, mm. do you uh, create around the sport? Like, do you kind of mm. listen to his thing and then yeah. it kind of inspires you, or vice versa? You're adding his his poems or poetry to mm. your already produced music. Yeah, thing. I would do my stuff first, yeah, and then I would add his stuff. Okay, you know and I mean, so okay. I just create like that, right? And um, yeah, so I just do my stuff. I think that's how I like to do it. Just do right. my stuff first, get yours, yeah, and then yeah. boom, and then add everything else. Yeah, you know what I mean, yeah. and. Um, but yeah, it's it's one of those things that just kind of evolved, you know what I mean? Like, right. you know? Dope. Yeah. Dope. So how long have you been producing? I would say, I don't know, since probably 20, 2014, 2015, something like that. Just messing around, you know what and I mean? And it's only been in that, that lane, the Afrobeats house, have you dabbled, tried to dabble? Yeah, I, I've, I, I've, I got some hip-hop stuff that I'm working on. Like, you know, right. so you, you did your beat tape, which is right. beautiful. Dope. Right? Thank you, respect. You know, that Rosie O'Donnell thank is you. nice. Thank you for checking out. Thank uh, you. Thank you. I love it, yeah. <laughs> but I, I've been working on doing something like that, like a beat tape like See, that, you know what I mean? Like, I mean, yeah. and then, I don't know, maybe when I, when I put it out or whatever like that, I'll... We get some people to jump on it or whatever yeah. if they like it. Don't, but but don't. I make the beats do the beats right now and and then I I, I kind of want to mess around with some 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 reggae like some yeah me too yeah man. but I had, have all of us done I've done it I've done it I've done it yeah. <laughs> but yeah. very rarely very rarely yeah, yeah. very rarely um, I have haven't quite gotten. But I'm kind of kind of putting a little bit of reggae in my house though. I have See. some tunes that like you know. They got some Capleton in it, or it got some got some nice fire. Yeah, I seen that. Yeah. I seen that toast. Is that no, it's called it? no. There's one called uh, Fire Chant. Fire Chant. And that's with Capleton. Yes. yes, yes. And then I'm I'm working on this other one. I'm trying mm-hmm. to put um, Busy Signal in it. So I just try to do a little something, but you know, it's, it's still in the works. Yeah, we'll <laughs> see type thing. Yeah, dope. But dope, yeah, dope, dope. you know. Um, so is there like a I know you, yeah. you know. Is there like a like a a good market for re edits, re edited material? Not that you can even really collect off it because of the copyright yeah. and all yeah. that jazz. But in terms of even your, do your re edits get used by other DJs? Oh yeah, yeah. Dope. Or people that are really into that stuff. That stuff. Yeah. And you'd be surprised how popular those things are, man. There's a million people that if, love something. If you uh, if you do a good one. Yeah, that thing is getting played, man. To go far, yeah. If you got, if you got a good, if you got a hot one, yeah, it's better than the original. That's, you know what I mean? Yeah, I can see that. If you if you do it properly, I can see that. You know what I mean? But um, yeah, like there's there's a lot of cats out there that like, redoing stuff. There's this guy named Jail. Um, he's from Amsterdam. Mm-hmm. Scratch Bastard brought him down. Seen for the barbecue. For the barbecue. That's what I was gonna mention. Outside that dude is talking. ridiculous. Yeah. That guy takes like. Any R and B song, anything, and he just puts his little thing on. Jail, it. jail, J A E L, blew my mind at that barbecue. See the you. best set of the and whole every barbecue. Every year I want to go to that barbecue. Yeah, I always forget. Every year, that Don't, dude. Is, I see the post afterwards. Yeah. That <laughs> dude is video. crazy. Yeah. That dude is crazy. I guess he can sing. Where right? is he from? He's from. He's from Amsterdam. Amsterdam yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. But I don't know. I, he could be. So, I don't know what his like his background background yeah, is. Yeah, he looks yeah. like he's. I don't know, man. He could pass for so many things. Yeah. But mixed. mixed of something. Yeah. But he can sing. He can play instruments. Oh, see. And he just fucks around with, like... Like, that's his thing. Like, he'll... he'll he makes his own stuff. But right. he'll take, like, I don't know, a Aaliyah song, and he'll fuck it up and do something crazy with it. He took um, Toast, um, Coffee. Right. Coffee's tune, and he... He 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 killed. He did. He, man, <laughs> like he like just a whole new song. He just he's just that good. Like he yeah. just yeah. And then even even when he's DJing and shit, he's like doing some crazy stuff with the with the CDJs, and he knows how to like you know just I don't know he just te- really technically like sound sound. Mm. But phenom type. But that kind of stuff. Like he does yeah. a lot of re edits and stuff like yeah. that, and it's just he, he'll and have, that's what blew up his career basically. That I, I think that so. Kind of things. And he has you know radio shows, and he'd be on right. different shows right, right. In, in the UK and all over the DJ, world. Right, right, yeah. Right, right, so, right. and he travels and does right. his stuff. Right. But yeah, those re edits, if you're good at it, you know what I mean. See. You can, and that's the goal for me. Like I. I want to get out of Toronto more, and I want to. Yeah. I want to travel. Yeah, you. Yeah. You, you, you asking? You answering questions before I ask? Go ahead. Go ahead. Go no, ahead. I, want to, I want to travel. So yeah. I mean, doing more of these. Like I'm right. not going to sit down every day and and, and right. do that. But right. you know, when I have an idea, or if I, you know, you know, I feel to do something, I go and do it. You know right. what I mean? And then when I ha- when I when I have that feeling. You know, when, the, when you know, the universe says, speaks to me and says, Corey, do a thing. When you're inspired. I just go do it. Yeah. You know what I mean? But I think that's, you know, manifesting the gift, you know, the gifts or whatever. So, mm. which is the, 
the one I'm strengthening, but DJing is number one, and then you know what I mean. But right. but I want to see. I want to travel, man. I would be, be you know, and maybe it'd be a blessing to do that with music. Right. You know. Yeah. Definitely. See, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. See, just try to manifest that. You know what yeah. I mean, and just keep working on it. I'm not the strongest, but I do it. People dig it. Right. So and what do you uh, what are you DJing on? Because I know there's a lot of <laughs> options nowadays. What is there? I didn't even know. Yeah, that. like I mean, I'm, I try to keep it really mobile these days because when you spin out, when you spin out now, there's like no space to, yeah, to really. Yeah. So I, I'll have like a I have like a little Denon MC4000. Okay. It's like a four channel okay. small controller. Yeah. yeah, it's got its effects. It's it's good. You know, yeah. it's got you know it's, it's got what you need. You can do a wedding with it and mm. stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Got your powerful Mac. You know, and then you know you just you run you run your Serato on it and do your thing, and then um, I, at home I got stuff, but you know I got right. my CDJs, I got yeah. my twelves, but yeah. I only bring those out if necessary. If yeah. necessary, but yeah. nowadays is oh you, that's why I'm asking. There's so yeah. many options. You, yeah. Have you seen that new uh, thing called Phase? I haven't seen it. No, it's basically what it does is it turns any. I don't even know how to explain it. <laughs> it changed the game. Like, you're 1,200, you could DJ with it, and you don't even need a needle. Oh, that little that, yeah. that thing that you put on oh, the... You uh, put a clip oh, yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I know yeah, you're yeah, talking. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah, that. yeah that's that, crazy. that thing is crazy. That is yeah. crazy. I, there's, so, uh, there's, there's a few DJs using that now. Yeah. Nuts. That little square thing. Yeah, that, thing, just, that thing's crazy. It rotates with the yeah. turntable, so yeah. it's like, I see people picking it up and... Yeah, it's still playing. Yeah, that thing's wow. nuts, man. Yeah. That thing's nuts. That's tough. If yeah. I was still actively DJing, that is what I would use. Yeah, because all I have to do is bring that. Yeah, that record and my laptop, and you're good to go. You're good to go. You're good to go. It's Gone crazy. are the days of the the coffin box of records that people used to have to carry around. Yeah. But I still enjoy vinyl night. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah, sure. Every yeah, once sure. in a while, you know, yeah. man's say, "Yo, yeah, let's let's do a vinyl night." For yeah. sure. And yeah, you'll go true. out and you'll do a night and then so Okay, so but how many <laughs> how many records are you carrying to vinyl night though? <laughs> Not much. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Not the milk crate. I, I don't, I'll, I'll have something like a little, you know, I have you know that one you know, that like one bag. DJ bag. It probably okay. holds about maybe yeah. like 20, 30 records, maybe yeah, 40 yeah. records. Okay, okay, that's more than I thought. And that's what I'm doing. I that's mean, more like, than I thought. You know? Yeah, that's not um bad. and I like I don't know, it's it's all, records are heavy, man. So. But you're damn right, you know? heavy. Yeah. But that's how so a lot of us used to get in the club for free. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I haven't done. A vi I've never done a vinyl night since actual vinyl nights. But it was <laughs> I would actually, I would, I would be interested in trying that. So okay, as DJs, was was CDs like the the throwaway era? Yes. <laughs> like nobody really, I noticed that DJs tend to only talk about vinyl times mm -hmm. or now. Like, CDs were CDs the worst. Kind of like CD, the, I think CDs was the worst. I use CDs. I mean, they yeah. were, I don't know. They were everybody unreliable. Used everybody, everybody used them. Everybody used them, you know. Yeah. Everybody used what them. What is the CD you had to at one point? Mm -hmm. that was it's just standard. like, it's just like, it was just quicker than vinyl. Yeah. It's not better. Yeah. It's just quicker. I'd agree with that. You just get your, your little binder full of CDs <laughs> and doubles and yeah. shit. Like, oh, carry two fuck. binders and you're yeah, good to go. You carry two binders. That's literally, instead of a laptop, bring two binders. Two binders. And you better mark them properly. You <laughs> better mark them properly. <laughs> better not be no cheap ass. Uh, Dollar store CD. I hear screw it. You know what I mean? <laughs> say, yo, where's that, where's that CD, man? Uh, so you put, it, put it in and a song's not playing, it's it, scratched. It's exactly. Or it's skipped. Oh, God. Oh, it's, <laughs> the laser are just bouncing off of it. Yeah, those yeah. good old days, bro. Yeah, man. So, okay, we can't really get into it. We're just getting to the top five. Top, top five, five. Top we said five, top, top five. five musical duos of all time. So it could be any duo that you can think of. And and just for the record, we're not including DJs in the duos category. <laughs> like we're not making a DJ because DJ doesn't count is what I'm saying. Yeah, I think the DJ should count. The DJ count. has to count? Uh, yeah. Oh, man. For sure. Okay, for okay. sure. Okay. All right. For All right. sure. Mine so, like Eric being Rakim. Yeah, that's a duo. Oh, yeah. No, I meant like if you uh, had... Yeah. That's uh, a I can't duo. even come with a good example. Uh, I was going to say like if you have... Um, yeah, I don't have a good example. Yeah. I'll probably come up with one later on. I just say duos. Duos in general. But yeah. anyway, get in the rules. What if there's three people in there? <laughs> yeah, then, then, it's a, then it's not a duo, it's a trio. <laughs> oh, shit. Then it's disqualified. <laughs> yeah, <it's> disqualified. <laughs> Basically, there's no rules at all. It's like a uh, random mm -hmm. top five list. You know what I'm saying? Don't take it too seriously. We're going to go shot for shot. So you say one, I say one, until we all get to, to top five. 
guests get to go first, sir? Mr. Dawkins? Well, you said mine first. <laughs> me or Keith? Me, or me hey, or hey, you can pick it. Whatever. <laughs> it hey, what take it. it. That, 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 take the free I'm safety. Taking the free, I'm taking the free. I'm taking the free. <laughs> I'd have to go with... Um, you already know I have to go with Mob D. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes my list every single time. <laughs> Prodigy or Havoc it matter makes my it list almost every so week. Fine. <laughs> um, only because this... I honestly, this is like the first hip hop record I think I owned is uh, Jazzy Jeff and Fresh Prince. Okay. I just, then the first one I bought was um, the Mike Tyson joint. Mm hmm. Because mm. I think that was the only one my parents would let me buy stuff. So. <laughs> but, but yeah. So Fresh Prince and Jazzy Jeff mm-hmm. is up there for me. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, just because, I don't know, these. Daz Effects, man. Daz yeah, effects. yeah, yeah, yeah. Daz Effects, Daz effects was huge. For Daz Effects is underrated. Daz Effects you know, was huge for me. What I mean, huge for me. The, but they're still they actively of, touring right now. Uh, yeah. Of course. Yeah. Those are those guys. Those guys were huge for me, man. Daz yeah. Effects yeah. directly yeah. affected the whole hip hop industry. Every man was trying to rap like that yeah. in some way, shape, for at least a couple of years. Oh, yeah, for sure. And then, but they don't get that kind of credit. No. But yeah, Daz Effects. Daz Effects was Daz huge. Effects. I'm gonna have to go with. Outcast. Oh, oh, that's my favorite dude of all time. <laughs> that's that, that's my good, favorite though. dude of all time. They only they 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 just passed a couple years ago. They passed this duo, EPMD. Oh, okay. It was my favorite duo all the time before. They, wow. Yeah, EPMD. Wow. Mm. Oh, I did have an example. Now I was gonna <laughs> say like uh, like Run DMC for example because mm. Grand Jam Master Jay's there. Yeah, but he still counts. Okay, so that's a trio. <laughs> yeah, that's a trio. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, okay, yeah. okay. <laughs> so you're next. Pete Rock's still smooth, man. Oh, yeah. Uh, Woo! Oh, yeah. yeah. That one's actually That's huge. Deadly. That's huge. That's Forgot huge. about that one. Yeah. That's huge. We're keeping it very genre-specific right now. I just want to put it not, yeah, but it's all good. Let's see, say, friggin' Ashford and Simpson. <laughs> <laughs> but, yo, I'm going to go with um, Smith & Wesson. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 They got a classic... Easy in and out <laughs> woven wraps. I'm starting to run out. Yeah, me too right now. Simon and Garfunkel. Ah, okay. <laughs> joke, joke. I don't even know. I couldn't name you a Simon and Garfunkel song. Oh man, duo right? Duo. Okay, I got a good one. Oh man. What number? Yeah, that's, is this, third this, one? this is my third one. Shit. Oh man, you know me. Well, now now I'm trying they're... to complete blank right now. Hold on there now. Let me get it together. You want to take a pause? <laughs> we might have to take a pause. Yes. <laughs> might have to, might have to call a friend. A take a pause. Might back. have to. Oh 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 um um um. It's Donny Hathaway and that woman. They had a couple songs together. Um. um is it? Oh man, is it Tanya something? Even if you said the name, I wouldn't know. Tony, I know Donny Hathaway. He did something. He, he, he had a, he had no, like I know a, who they are, but I don't know. Yeah, the, but I can't remember. The, the, he had a full album with a woman, I believe. <laughs> a tune. That's not a strong duo if you can't even <laughs> think of his name, song. <laughs> I was just throwing it out there. I was just throwing one out there. I don't, okay, I'm going to take a pass. Come back to me on that one. Jeez. <laughs> Cheese on peas. Man, who else can I say? Um, it was huge for me, too. Oh, I just got one. Damn. <laughs> There's enough for that. Yeah, this, this, I'm just, it's hard. For some reason, I'm drawing blanks in my brain. Millie Vanilli. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> kidding, kidding, kidding. Wow, yeah. wow. That's just for, that's for jokes. But everyone did like Millie Vanilli uh, at one point in time. Oh, yeah. Yeah. At one point in time. Um, nice and smooth. Nice and smooth. Okay. Yeah. Okay, okay. Okay. They were huge for yeah. me. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm yeah. gonna go with Meth and Red. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. They had a couple yeah, yeah. albums to get yeah. in. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Hell to Skelter. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That's, That's good. good. That's real good. Forgot them, man. Hell to Skelter. Yeah. Ah. B.C. 
So this is your number five right now. That's my number five? Oh, yeah, right thank God. I, I, that's your number five? No, yeah, no, that's, that's four. four. Oh, okay, so number five, we're coming up. Number five. <laughs> <laughs> Number five. Do, do, number five. Number Casey and JoJo. <laughs> hey, hey, man. That's, that's not a bad one, that's though. A deadly I, one. You pulled that out of the hat. That's not a bad one at all. I'll make me forget which one I was going to say. I smashed some things to that stuff. Oh, indeed. Indeed. <laughs> Here's the JoJo, man. Oh, I'm Lee, why am I freaking blanking? There's so many. I have to put, a, I to put an R&B blanking. one in there, you know what I mean? Yeah. I'll go with um, Capone and Noriega. Hey. Oh, yes. Hey. CNN. Yeah, CNN. CNN. Classic. If you have a I, classic album under your belt, you, you know. You will win. I have one, right? But this is not like, I, I, I know there's somebody I'm missing. That there's I, enough for that, somebody I'm over. thinking in my head right now. <laughs> um... Oh shit! <laughs> I can't believe I'm just thinking of this. Black Star, bro. Oh yeah. Most definitely Talib Kweli. The wow. one album, but it was great. Yeah. You know, all takes is one. working on something new. I read yeah, somewhere. that thing they've been saying that for years now. Yeah, they're yeah. working on something. Depends on how most feels. Yeah. Yeah, that's so, it. So most. I used to, he used to do something though. It's time. Mm. Or Yaz, Yaz. Like a solo? Well, it's something normal. He used to do something. You well, know I mean? you know, some you know. I heard that Common album's really good because I was about to say. Yeah, that's really good. I was, I was listening to a few joints uh, yeah. today. It was it's pretty good. My friend said it's melancholy, but good. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even know he had an album. Out. Yeah, I think yeah. it just came out last week or something like that. Yeah, I was just listening week. to that. Some of it today. Yeah. That little brother album, as you were. Woo! Yeah, man. yeah, I like it. That's so good. I mean, what can I say, man? I just, I just yeah, needed it. Man. I mean, I was li- I listened to it every day. It's it's literally like they yeah. never stopped. They never stopped, man. Like it, the vibes, the same, just, same yeah. vibe, but updated. Yeah, but it's the same. It feels like the last album. Yeah, I remember seeing them. Uh, was that Mod Club or was it Mod Club? Or, yeah, my Mod Club mm. years ago. I feel like it was. What that. a show that was! Oh, I feel like I was at that show. That was a great show, man. I feel like Good energy good. and it just everything. It just I don't know. Just they. Who, whoever produces their music, I mean, Ninth Wonder has been on their stuff mm. or whatever, but whoever produces... But there's no Ninth on this album. No, he didn't. He, Although he, he, did stuff like for, he, he did stuff for uh, Rhapsody, but he didn't do anything mm. for it. But, um, wow. Good album. Solid. It's like yeah. a four out of five. Some grown up, grown folks music. Yeah, that's the common album it's supposed good. to be like that too, like grown folks music. Common album is good too. There's another album, not Rhapsody, I haven't fully gotten through the whole thing. There was Com- yeah. The Rhapsody album is good. Yeah. She doesn't disappoint, though, man. Mm. She doesn't disappoint. She's actually uh, one of the few females I enjoy. In Rhapsody? Yeah. Yeah. Rapping in, like, now, anyway. At least now. And Queen Latifah showed her. Yeah, she can hold. Do don't mess with the old school rappers. Yeah. Like, leave them alone. When it comes to rapping, rapping, yeah. leave them alone. That's yeah, but there's so many of them that I've never heard a verse from in so long now. Yeah, Some that's of true. them, like Karis One. And that's true. Certain man. Nuff like, Man. Nuff Man is true. Busta Rhymes and shit like Yeah. Busta dropped something recently, didn't he? Oh, with Major Hype. With Major Hype. Some reggae shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have to hear that. Why are you so thirsty, yeah. my ear? <laughs> <laughs> It looked good. It sounded all right, though. It sounded all right. I, I gotta get it because Major Hype. I'm a, I'm a big fan of me. Yeah, he oh, kind of makes me. He yeah, kills yeah, me, man. He's talented, me. That yeah. guy's super talented. That, that yeah, guy yeah. kills me, man. He, totally, totally, yeah. totally, totally, totally kills yeah. me. But Buster Rhymes, that uh, didn't he put something out? I feel like he put beside the Major Hype. I remember, but I feel like, but it might have been a feature thing. I yeah. don't remember if it was a solo, like his own. Yeah, yeah. I don't think. Thing. I don't. I don't think so. I don't think so. Yeah. Yeah. But anyway, um, back to you, Corey. So, mm. you kind of yeah gave us a little synopsis. But what, what's the future hold? What's the next plan? Next plan. Musically, anyhow. Uh, musically, I mean, once I you know get a little stronger with it, mm-hmm. I'd love to. I'd love to have some sort of like you know some sort of label, man. Like you know, I can you can just have like I like all different kinds of music. So mm. you can just have people just just you know just come together and just do something on the label and it would be different it would be it would be run differently Same. you know what I mean it's kind of be one of those things that you do the work and 
you 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 make your money, you do mm. your things, and you mm. you pretty much run it. You run you run your business, right? But it'll be under the label or whatever, and you know, every, you do your work, you get paid. Same. You know what I mean? It's your money. You know what I mean? Kind of thing. You know what I mean? Same. Whatever it, whatever it is. Yeah, yeah. That would yeah. that would that would be the goal for me. Yeah. Like, I'd love to do that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, That's dope. But. Uh, I do want to travel yeah, badly yeah, more. Yeah, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? And just see, just see how everything else is mm. in other parts of the world. You know what Have I mean? Have you like, played outside of Toronto? I've, I've played in Calgary, yeah. like Montreal. Okay. Um, you know, stuff like that. I've never played like in the States or anything right. like that. I mean, it's just going to, it'll come one day. Yeah, definitely. Um, I mean, Europe is calling my name. Nice. You know what I mean? Like UK, all that stuff. That's, that's me. That's. Yeah, you know, I can see that. Yeah. I can definitely so, see that. So. You're trying to trying to do that, man. You know what I mean. Like mm-hmm. even uh, if you, even if I can do it, you know, book books book a ticket, you know, and then um, hit up some contacts and just walk with some music and just. Yeah. I find over there, like you know, Europe and stuff like that. Once they know you're there, other you get to move around. They're, they're yeah, a little yeah, bit yeah. more we're sharing over there. A little yeah, more yeah. sharing over there. We're just talking about yeah. that outside. They're yeah. just yeah. talking about that. That's the market over there. You know, you, you play in. I don't know. You play in Italy. Yeah. You're playing somewhere else the next week. You know yeah, what I mean? Take a train, go and to all the France. countries are so close. Yeah, they're exactly. so close. Yeah, and they talk, and you know, it, yeah. I like that about especially in this day and age. Yeah, the information will travel quickly. Yeah. yeah. What's next it's for you, dope. man? What's next for you? Uh, I want to start recording again. Yeah. Although I, my writing. Yeah. Yeah, I gotta read some more. So <laughs> there's a process that I I gotta read some stuff and maybe go through some 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 stuff in my life. I don't know, but I feel like I want to start recording again. Yeah. But sure. um, beyond that, just more production, more 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 production. Trying to mm-hmm. find somebody to work with, a um, few people even. Yeah. I really want to do a compilation. That's yeah. That's kind of my yeah. production goal right now because the B tape just came out. Yeah. That was one goal. Yeah. Of course, there'll be more, mm-hmm. and then yeah, but. Right now, now I want to start recording stuff. Yeah, sure. Luther Slang Joss is really what I want to play. <laughs> what? Uh, mostly singing. What? Yeah, yeah man. Shh. I didn't think we don't. Nobody listens to us anyway. <laughs> that differently, still, man. That's ah, oh, respect. Yeah, that's respect. that's dope, respect. man. Mm. Yeah. yeah, I love that. Song. Definitely, still it's is. Ever, man. Respect. Yeah, respect. man. Respect on that, still. No doubt. Yeah. No doubt. Thank you. Mm-hmm. But yeah, um, where can people find you? Like, uh, you know, on social media? Or you yeah, mean, like just... if they want to contact you for yeah. music, yeah. DJs. You know, got a website, mm-hmm. uh, djcoreydawkins.com. Mm-hmm. Instagram, I'm, I'm, I'm under docskin77. D-A-W-K-S-K-I-N-77. You know, Facebook, I'm... I'm on there, but you yeah, know, yeah, you know, yeah. Under this, in and out. I'm the first Corey Dawkins you'll find. Yeah, and uh, Twitter, I don't really use Twitter too much, but you know, I'm under, yeah. I'm on Twitter I'm under Dockskin, D A W K S K I N. Scene. Yeah, I'm trying to use Twitter more, but yeah, yeah, I don't know. I just never really got into Twitter. I don't know what it is. I was on it heavy yeah, early yeah, yeah. out, and then now I just I, I think I'm getting to understand it again. But yeah, yeah, it kind of changed, so yeah. I don't really I don't really understand it, but I'm kind of getting to it. It's yeah. it's different, you know. Yeah, it's different. It's but, its own community. All of them are different, but you know, if you know how to, you know, at this and at that, yeah, and this. Hashtag, and hashtag, <laughs> hashtag, 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 hashtag this. Yeah. It's a new language, so, <laughs> oh, you know. Yeah, yeah. I find that a lot of sports people use on Twitter. Like, oh yeah, I find like you know like. Uh, I think that's the thing. Yeah. I think Twitter is a bunch of different communities. Yeah, yeah. and it all depends on what you're a part of. Yeah, because I this whole black Twitter, I, I don't, I don't, really, I haven't experienced that. But I think that's because I'm not on their in their their space. I'm not talking about. I usually only talk about battle rap and news production mm-hmm. on Twitter. Yeah, pretty much. But yeah, we'll, we'll just, you know, we'll wrap it up there. There's Slang You everywhere. You can find me on everywhere. At Slang You, thank God I got it first on <laughs> every platform out there. Slang Social you. media, just hit me up there. Um, go and get that, um, what's it called? Who can't, who don't hear must feel. Yes. The beat tape. Beat tape. It's on goldairmusic.com. Goldairmusic.com. Get yeah, it. Merch is on there. All kind of thing is on there. Get it. Follow on Instagram, Music. Follow me on Instagram, MCDJ Finn. Um, yeah, man, check out the shit on, on the website. We got some new shit in the works. Yeah. Stay Finn tuned. is next up on the B tape. <laughs>
Oh yeah. Sibs is out there. Yeah. Master yeah, Master I mean. the Craft. Go over here and listen to that too out there. But yeah, we're gonna wrap it up here. It's another episode of the Lab Chronicles. And quite simply, we are out. <laughs> <laughs>